Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve right here today. Uh, this is the heads up to Steve. I feel a little short. Oh, uh, is your chair a little wonky? There, there we go. go. Uh, there we go. Now, now uh, we're good to go. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining. We are going over your photographs. Yeah, we're going to do like we did last week. We're going to go through a little bit more than normal. We have a little bit of a speed round at the end. Yeah. And real quick, if you want to be on the show, email your photos to pics at greengridiron.com. Email is right here. Take the best pictures you can. Here we go. Yes. First up is Sean S. We are starting strong. He says, this is 11-year-old Sebastian's Speed Victor. Uh, he did send a nice long thing. I'll put it up so on this. He's the strong, but he's sending in Sebastian's photo? A exactly. Oh, wow. So he's got, he's got a little mister bottle? Yeah. Spray bottle? Proper proper mist happening. These are cool, man. So you, you tell me, Steve, does he know what he's doing as far as photographing these things and using light and all that? I think they look really good. It's kind of a forced perspective mm -hmm. because he must be really close. This young man probably had a blast taking these pictures too. Look at that one. I love it. That's my favorite one here. Um, and you got white helmet, white face mask, white clips, matches everything in the uniform. Really, really nice. I don't know, Steve. I'm gonna, and then and then you got the little sprinkling of yeah. water droplets on there. I'm gonna go with an 8.2. Yeah, great work with these pictures. That is how you make it on this show. Next up is Zachary. He's got a little Christmas time going on. Very cool. Got the Houston Oilers. Uh, we got Saints, and this looks the Saints is chrome decals, which I think look fantastic. They're on older VSR4 type helmet shells. No chin straps, I'm noticing. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Z-Bar face masks, the, and those are the ones that used to come with the VSR4 helmets. We got black clips. We got a lot of little things going on. Uh, hey, I'm, not, those... I'm not a fan of this style of helmet, Steve. That Oilers one is cool. I love the face mask, too. Cool color. Almost Great a color perfect too. match. Probably got that face mask from us. That's definitely a color that we carry. Uh, I, I think it would be cool. If, you know, we should. We, we need to go back and do, like, some of those older team designs like the Oilers. Yeah, yeah. On like a Speed Flex or something. Those would look pretty nice. Old school, new school. Yeah. So throw out comments below. What old school design you want to see on a you current You want to see helmet. on a, either an F7 or a Speed Flex. Maybe when we get our hands on the uh, Zero Two from Vices. Yeah, I got some ideas already. Yeah, yeah that's I a great that, idea. I think that would be a good one. It would. These, these helmets, I give the average score. I'm going to go with a 7.6. All right. Well, Again, nice. not a fan of that style of helmet. That's why I'm surprised. Yeah, it's good But score. I love the ingenuity and I love the ideas using the chrome with the saints and the yeah. colors. All right. Next up. Hello, Jay. Steve, my name is Teddy. I am from Massachusetts. I play football and he is a quarterback. His uh, name is not Teddy. You, no. His name is Teddy. Teddy. Hey, Teddy. From, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, this looks great. We got a... TX Big Grill, this is the S2 BDC TX HS4 face mask on the Riddell Speed helmet. Love the, the paint job on these helmets. Looks fantastic because you've got just a ton of flake. It's like mm -hmm. as close to bass boat type flake as you're going to see in a football helmet, Teddy. Uh, I'm going to go with an 8.3. Solid. My favorite mask right now. It's been for a while. And uh, thanks for taking that perfect helmet yeah. outside and teddy let, it, let us know as a new england patriots fan how are you feeling this year yeah how are you feeling yeah are oh, you feeling cam of, i don't know got a lot of changes you know, a ton of changes all right next up is dylan and he says hey i'm dylan i'm from austin texas and this is my speed flex with a shock clear mirror so this nice simple but it looks good, looks tough, and it's outside. I'm all about the chrome decals mm. and the, the visor. I mean, obviously the Shock Zero-G visor is made for the Speedflex helmets, which is why it looks so good in this one. It really does. Uh, he's going with the stock Shock quick-release clips. He's got the black hardware that comes with the helmet, with the, with the uh, cam lock system, and all that. So overall, I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with a 7.9 mm. for that That's guy. That's nice. It is it's nice. nice. I think. I think it's nice. <laughs> All right. Good work, man. Next up is Brock. And he says, what's going on, guys? I'm Brock. I wanted to show you my helmet from this season. I play for Spring Valley High School in Columbia, South Carolina. It's our state capital here. Hey, yeah. man. Check this out. So 
we've got yellow and green. Those look like they could be chrome decals as well. Um, what I'm wondering is with these decals, is the beard in the Viking yellow, or mm. is it clear and you just see the yellow coming through? I hope it's clear because I want it to be clear because mm -hmm. then it would work on anything. But if it is, it's just super, super smart to make that logo the way that they did. I'm sure this is obviously your team, but whoever designed that logo, good work. Yeah, it's nice. You've actually got four colors in that logo, gray, white, yellow, and green. And I like to see that because you can use now any of those colors in all of the rest of the design of not only the helmet, but the uniform as well. You could get away with, say, gray visor clips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a gray face mask. I mean, I would never do that. No, but could, it's, could do it. it's doable. <laughs> right? That would be better on this helmet than say, I don't know, Alabama. Yeah, I mean, right. What's I mean, that? In, or the Giants? I know they don't have any gray in their helmet. They it's got time gray. to they make wear, it just white because they wear gray pants. I'm not buying it. So, <laughs> uh, I like I like the color combination, the color coordination here on this whole thing. I guess if I had to change one thing, it would be those visor clips. We actually have some of these visor clips in green to match the face mask, uh, yellow to match the helmet, mm -hmm. and gray and white. Yeah, all of those would work. All you them. could use black, but now that the only thing on this helmet that I see in black is those clips. Yeah, you got to make that change. Yeah, yeah. but good Overall, otherwise. I, I I like the rest of it. I'm going to go with uh, eight point one on that guy. Whoa, which is yeah. kind of high. It is. Yeah. Good job, Brock. Next up is David C. And he says, this is Dave from Jersey City. Yeah, Jersey in the house. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> uh, check it out. I took my younger brother's 2006 game helmet and made it into a custom color Texans helmet because he's a Texans sure. fan. And he made a nice little collage. So thanks, man. You made my life a little easier. Nice pictures, by the way. And I got to think, this looks like a painted helmet. Lots of contrast, right? Yeah, beautiful paint job. The phone's on portrait mode here, so there's a little bit of weirdness on that top one, but I'm not mad at it. Really smart to take it outside. This is a DNA helmet. Not a fan. Nope. Steve, it's got your name on it. It sure does. Adam. So we got so we got that going on. Uh, but I do like, the um, again, the color coordination here. You got the red chin strap. You got the red face mask going well with the decals. Um, but I love the all the decals you're putting on the bottom. I'm guessing that the NFL radio decal that's on there is covering up a hole or something. I would have put that a little bit lower. Yeah, I think you're yeah. right. But but, but we, I cover up holes all the time. Exactly. If, if I can, just because I don't like them, especially if it's going to be a collectible. If it's going to be something to use on the field, yeah, you need those holes to put in air and all that stuff. This helmet has a lot of real estate on the back, and he did a good job of actually putting, like, six or seven decals on yeah. it, but they're spread out really nicely. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go... It's a DNA, so it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna get beat up. I'm gonna go with a 7.3. Okay, on this guy. great work though, Aww. David. <laughs> Good paint job, man, looks nice. All right, next up is Peyton. And he says, hey, I'm Peyton. I play football for the Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets and he's a quarterback. I hope I can make the show. Well, hope no longer because you're on it, pal. So this is a super clean look. Uh, it's white and black. That's it. Super Dutch picture right there. Yeah. Mm. I'm not a Dutch guy. No. no. But I do like the Stormtrooper look, and this is kind of it. I guess you could still you could go with a white face mask on here. You really don't have any other colors that you can coordinate in here because of the, the way the decals are. Riddell has the red on there. Personally, I would cover that up. I know. Or make it black. Or Man. get some uh, fingernail polish remover yeah. and just take it off and have a white on white. This really yeah, looks like my truck. <laughs> like, it, it looks exactly like the exact... Do you have any red on your truck? truck? Nope. Uh, so, Steve, I am going to go with, with this guy, let's go with a 7.5. All right. Yep. Nice, clean the look. the visor in there. Yeah, I like the... I'm a huge fan of the Storm truck, Stormtrooper look. Good work, Peyton. Next up is Larry M. This is interesting. So he says, at one point I was decaling game helmets for three teams mm. and painting field use helmets. I think my record was that I decaled 300 helmets in a three-day period. That's a lot. When the, NX, uh, when the XFL came to Memphis, 
Um, back in 01, he was asked if he wanted to work in the equipment room. So, duh, yep. And he was really good at putting in decals. One thing led to another, and now he has a real collecting problem. Yeah. That's <laughs> how it happens. That's beautiful how it happens. photos and way to highlight some uh, beautiful oh, yeah. helmets you got. Really great work. Well, he said he was from Memphis, mm -hmm. right? So these all make sense. St. Louis isn't too far from It's not Memphis. too far. Look at yeah. that helmet, man. I'm, you know, that thing. It, it looks like it just came off the field. Yeah. Uh, what, was, what was this team, Steve? With the AX. I have the no idea. The Axemen, I think. Hmm. For really? I think so. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Or I could be totally wrong. I think that that's what it was. And it looks like it's the whole team signed it, so that's cool. I mean, just look at the difference between the Rams helmet that's all clean and shiny new. Yep. I'm assuming that's a different helmet, right? The one that's all beat up? I would think or is that, so. Or is that a filter? No, no, I really think it's that filter. Do you see this Warner? Warner. So that's Kurt Warner's helmet? Yeah. Which I don't recall, but that's probably what he wore. Yeah, yeah, number 13. DSR 4 I think it really is that gnarled up. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to see the two right next to each other to see the and you difference see the, in the color of, like, the yellow and the, the decal. Yeah, because you see this is almost like a lime green. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it is a filter, but everything else looks normal. The whites are white, the blues are blue. Yeah, so I'm going to give those helmets, those are super cool. I love the kind of the history behind them all. It kind of really mm -hmm. um, tells, helps tell the story. Average score for those guys, because those are some legit helmets. You got, you got, especially if you got Kurt Warner's helmet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve, let's go with an 8.6 Yeah. for those yeah. guys. Yeah. Even no. though, again, not a fan of those styles. And he, he did send in more, I just, you know, for time's sake. Um, so demo. we'll do more in the future, and I'm right. sure you're going to send more. All right, so let's do a couple more where these are just quick, no score, but they only sent in maybe a picture or maybe they were a little blurry, but I still put it in anyway. So here's Arthur. All right, Arthur. Isn't that cool, though? You can almost... Well, you know, sometimes the simple things get you a really good result, and anything up against the sky is nice, especially with the clouds. Yeah. Um, you got a face mask there that needs some help. We can help you make that face mask look brand new again send mm -hmm. it to us we actually recondition uh, face masks for teams but we'll do one we do single face mask recons all the oh. time what style mask is that uh that's your stock s2eg your original s2eg oh face that's mask. right so it's a it's a dying face mask yeah okay. we get them in here and there but they've been discontinued for a long time we buy face yeah. masks from I... from teams typically college teams and you know when those are masks that have never been on a helmet before we'll put them up for sale um, but those are, you know, $100 face masks now, whereas when they first came out, yeah. they were like $25. I think it's a great mask. I, oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, yeah. It's classic, right? Yeah. All right, nice. Next up is Dan G. Just something about this needed to make it. It's yep. tired. Season's over. <laughs> yeah, totally. You've got a lot of metal points showing. This is a SF3BD face mask. The three in that style code it signifies that it's an extra long or a longer style to protect kind of the, the jugular and the neck area, mm -hmm. uh, which is typically worn by bigger guys. Yeah, this people. is this is a for sure he's a lineman's in, helmet. He's living in the trenches yeah. with this guy. Look at how he's positioned it on that cool old stump mm -hmm. that looks just as gnarly as the helmet does. Real camera, iPhone. I think it's just with a phone. Thanks for that. And next but last is Lucas. I am going to just throw this in there. So he says, uh, hey, team of Green Gridiron. I've been following you guys for quite some time. Um, and he's from Austria. Uh -huh. So greetings from the U.S. Nice picture. It's a little blurry. I'm not sure what happened there. But Austria is getting it done with their helmet Maybe he's design. Maybe put a little Vaseline on the lens. Maybe going for the, um, the 50s look. Um, yeah. I, I'm impressed, though, because I know it's not so easy for Austrians or any other country to really get this stuff done so well. The decals are super, really well, this, cool. This helmet looks super clean. It looks like it's actually never been worn in a game yet. So I'm wondering if it, this is like the preseason shot. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm with you where I'm normally not a fan of decals of a helmet on a helmet. But mm -hmm. I, this might be the best looking one that I've seen. Go Mustangs. Uh, but anyway, you know, he, he made it on the show. He did a little cropping on the edges there, yep. a little Love effect. It. So Love it. Nice job. And thanks, especially, you know, coming from Austria. Exactly. Watching the show and everything. That's all we got time for. So if you didn't make it on this show, don't worry. We're going to keep doing them and keep doing them and keep doing them as yeah. long as you send in your photos. So email. 
picks at greengridiron.com. Make sure you take the best photos you can. And if you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, click the notification bell. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.